This video is brought to you by the Farmer Klein YouTube channel. Be sure to like, subscribe, and comment. Hello everybody, welcome back to the Farming Simulator 22 Map First Impressions video. Today we're going to take a look at Chilliwack, BC. But before that, this video is brought to you by Bomda and Jason Austin. Thank you for being farm barons. So the Chilliwack BC map can be found over at chumpyfarmer.itch.io. Now, as a result of it being linked over there, link is down in the description below, by the way, this map is going to be available for PC players only. Another reason this map is going to be available for PC players is because this is a 4X map. Since we all know that the only route to console is through the Giants mod up, with this map not being hosted there, it's not going to make it a console. And two, since this is a 4X map, we've yet to see a 4X map be released and stay released for console over on the Giants Mod Hub. Let me read you a little bit of the description. This is my first attempt at making a map for Farming Simulator 22. When I started playing Farm Sim 22, I have not looked back. Since seeing what other people have created in the community, I decided to take a stab at learning GE and eventually down the road to learn Blender. Let's stop there for a moment. I have to say, Chumpy Farmer, this being your very first map, this being your first attempt at learning GE, you, you freaking hit it out of the park. That's all I can say. You've just hit it out of the park. Step up to the plate with your very first appearance at bat, hit a grand slam, and then just walk in the dugout like, eh, it's just a thing. In real life, the farming area does not use the majority of the base crops. Instead, they are using cow silage, corn, and grass, but he has left all of the standard crops available for player variety. He is not taking credit for any of the custom work and does attempt to point you to the original authors of the various things that he has added to the map, including relight, custom crop textures, custom corn textures, a realistic rolling texture, clover, and alfalfa, all of that is referenced in the description. The majority of the buildings on the map are from the base game, and as such, they are going to be able to be sold if you buy the land and then decide that you want to completely rearrange things. You're going to be able to do that. Without further ado, let's go ahead and load on in. We are going to use the mods that we typically use when we take a look at maps. That is additional field info, additional game settings, Field Lease, Field Calculator, and Precision Farming. Now, I will say that if you load this map up in Farm Manager mode or start from scratch, the main starting area is going to look exactly how you see it here in New Farmer mode. In fact, everything is pre-placed on the map in all play modes. Now, also, if you happen to load this map up when you exit the game, the game does crash to the de desktop. This is a known error, and the map author is looking into it. He thinks it has something to do with the trees. So for that reason, I would suggest possibly holding off on going, you know, tree cutting for now, because I don't want you to cut down a tree and find out that you've completely blown the game save up as a result. So keep an eye out on his itch.io page for an update to the game crashing issue. Now, when you load in for the very, very first time, you load down here by a little river, lake, pond, whatever. Let's go ahead and pull up the PDA. Now, this is clearly based on a realistic area. If you have not yet been able to tell, this is a Google Map PDA where the fields are representing where fields really are, roads are represented where roads really are, and the train is represented where the train line really is. We do have all of our standard crop types available to us here in Farm Sim 22. In addition, this map has alfalfa and clover added to it. If we take a look at our lands area, in new farmer mode, we start out by owning farmland 162 as well as farmland 161. Remember, this is a 4X map, so fields and area sizes are going to be much, much larger than they initially would appear on the PDA. For example, 
Area 161 is 13.63 acres, and Area 162 is 11.12 acres in size. This map does have a biogas plant, which you can purchase. It's going to be located right here. And you will need to buy the biogas plant by actually going up to it and purchasing it. That's why it doesn't show up as a viable farmland. But let me just say, every square inch of this map can be purchased either as a result of viable farmland or as a result of it being part of a production item. Let's go ahead and take a look at our farmland lease screen. And the farmland lease screen is going to show us all of the owned and viable farm lands. If those farmlands include a field or fields, what fields they include, how big the farmland is, and how much that farmland is going to cost us. So I'm just going to slowly scroll through this list. At any point in time, you can pause the video to take a closer look at the individual farm lands and the field numbers, then how much that's going to cost. Because what we're going to do next is we're going to take a look at the field calculator screen. And the field calculator screen is going to show us all of the individual fields and how big those individual fields are. Then we can come back here and cross-reference that to the farmland lease screen to then see the farm land that that specific field is associated with and therefore how much that specific field or fields are going to cost. Here we have our field calculator screen. So field 215 is 1.22 acres in size and field 218, which we already own at the start, is 4.19 hectares in size. Again, let me just slowly scroll through this list. And at any point in time, you can then cross-reference the field numbers with the farm land numbers that were over on the farmland lease screen. But as we can see here, we have fields that range anywhere from, here we have 22 hectares down to less than one hectare in size. So we have fields of all sizes, shapes, and types for just about any player that might be out there. I have to say, I think this is going to be a perfect map for someone who is looking to do a multiplayer where you're going to have multiple players owning different farms and owning different fields and working in a cooperative fashion. Let's go ahead and take a look and see how the soil map is getting applied to the fields. We can see the generic soil map here. We have a good hunk of loamy sand and sandy loam towards the middle of the map. That is separated out between loam and then silty clay to the south, as well as to the west. And then in the north, we've got some loam and sandy loam, as well as silty clay as well. With respect to the crop counter, we have the generic crop counter that is available to us in Farm Sim 22 on this particular map. We do, though, have custom growth schedules for alfalfa and clover. Looking at our prices screen, we do indeed have all of the base game crops available to us to sell. So we will not have any issues with respect to that. We also do have the ability to sell our eggs, wool, and milk. Silage, hay, straw, and grass is also covered. And then as we move down through all of the standard base game production items, we do indeed have the ability to sell all of those production items on the map as well. We also have the ability to buy bulk lime. And we also have a stone crusher in place. So if we are playing with stones enabled, we will be able to get rid of those stones. We also have alfalfa windrow and alfalfa hay windrow. Clover and clover hay windrow also available for sale. Now there is a little interesting caveat here with respect to this fill type. So we have a missing fill type beer listed here. I talked to the map author and he had gone down the avenue of trying to add this custom production to the map, but then decided that it was a little bit more than what he was able to do at that point in time. So he backed most of it out, but he did accidentally leave this listed in the price of screen. So this will most likely get updated in the future. With respect to the platinum expansion productions, as we have seen with most maps that have come out since platinum expansion, we do not have the ability to sell any of the platinum expansion items within the map itself. Of course, you can always put down the Silver Run Market sell point that would then add the ability to sell all of these items if you wanted to do 
some platinum expansion production, but there really isn't a whole lot of forestry going on this map anyway, so that probably isn't going to be an issue. If you are playing with pumps and hoses, though, you do have the ability to sell your separated manure at the animal dealer. Taking a look at our starting fleet in new farmer mode, we start out with a decent list of starting machinery. All of it is owned, none of it is leased, and all well maintained. We do not have any animals at the start. Now, when I had to do the soil map, I went around and bought all the plots of land. As you can see, there are a lot of animals on this map. In fact, we have five, eight, 12, 16 animal pins on this particular map. As such, if you want to put down more animal pins, you will need to use the more animal mod that is a part of the Giants Mod Hub for PC players that will raise the animal pin limit from 10 to, uh, I think it's 40, and then you won't have any issue putting down additional animal pins, but you can see there are quite a few animal pins scattered around this map. We do have contracts available. I went and bought all of the fields again in order to do the soil map exposure, and as such, we're not seeing contracts show up here, but there are contracts available on the map. We do not own any production chains at the start, and there are no collectibles on this map. Let's go ahead and take a look at our starting fleet. We start out with the Case Maxim CVX 145 and Massey Ferguson 5S 145 small tractor. We then have the Horse Torino 3FX cultivator, we have the Amazon KG-3001 Super Power Hero that is paired up with the Cynthia 3000 Super Cedar. We have the Breedall K-105 Lime and Fertilize Spreader. We have the Kuhn GMD-4411 Side Mower, as well as the GMD-3123F Front Mower. We have the GF-8712 Tether, the Merge Max 950 Wind Rower. Then we have the Ponja Faro 4010 D forage wagon, the Kuhn SB 1290ID square baler, as well as the VB 3190 round baler. We have the Arcusen FSX 63.72 square bale bale loader, as well as the Anderson RBM 2000 round bale bale loader. We have the SW 4010 round and square bale bale wrapper. We have a Quickie Q7M, a pair of those front loaders. And then for our front loader arms, we have the round bale fork, a pallet fork, universal bucket, manure fork, and the quickie big bag lifter. All of that is owned at the start. If you take a look at our mods and DLCs, you will see that there are no custom vehicles or implements that are part of this map. Now, as far as our farm tour, let's go ahead and kind of run down the road because in new farmer mode, our starting farm is right down the street here. So why do we really need to worry too much about, uh, about teleporting over there? Because here we are. Mossy Pine Ranch. It's been a long time since we have seen some of these buildings show up in a farm sim maps on farms it feels like but welcome back to elm creek everybody at least that's what it kind of feels like except we're able to sell all of these buildings you can indeed customize every single viable plot of land let me demonstrate that right now so let's go into our build mode we do have the ability to sell this stuff right sell you can sell everything 750 dollars there are no other buildings here. This is all just kind of decoration. Want to get rid of it? There you go. Now you can put your own stuff down. We still have the animal pin. We have our shed here. How about across the street? You want to get rid of that? Sure. How about this house? You want to get rid of that? Sure. Is there maybe something else you want to get rid of? How about this? Sure. Oh, here's some more stuff over here. Maybe you want to get rid of this. Sure. Everything. Everything is for sale. Pick a plot of land you want. Sell whatever buildings are on it. Assuming it's not a sell point. And get to town customizing it. Because there you go. That 
in itself gives this map like if I could if we could give this map a six out of five, I would give the map two points. Two points for can the farm be customizable? Because the ability to sell all of the deco buildings on all of the viable plots of land that are not tied to production or are not tied to a sell point is absolutely amazing. So also here at our start farm, we have our vehicles and machinery all lined up. And then we do have a horse pen here at this farm. Some silly guy said I didn't have enough money. There we go. So this is, and all of these animal pins are going to be base game animal pins, so we really don't need to go into extreme detail on those. But we have a horse pin here at our starting farm. If we wanted to, we could sell it. Yes, we could sell it without any issue whatsoever. I'm going to go ahead and get set up for the fly around. We're going to fly around the map and take a look at all of the animal pins and the various sell points and production areas. Then we're going to come back to the vehicle shop, jump in our Mahindra, and pretty much do the same thing. But this time from the ground level. I know some of you all like to just look at the overview from the sky. Others may enjoy the ground level look because it does give you a completely different look on the map. So gain altitude, remember, every building you see that is not tied to production or a sell point is going to be sellable. So in fact, for example, off here in the distance, we have another deco farm built out. We can sell all of that. We've got silage bunkers here. We've got this big area. I mean, this map is just itching, itching to be customized. It's just begging to have a whole lot of custom farms built out in multiplayer. For example, over here, over here, we've got a row of silage bunkers, a row of silage bunkers. First thing that came to my mind when I saw this was pumps and hoses. I can build myself a custom pumps and hoses BGA right here. Silage bunkers are already there. Roads are kind of already laid out. I've got this giant plot. I can put down my own BGA. I can use the modular BGA that's over on the giant smut hub. Pumps and hoses. I can put down a base game BGA. I could do all three here. I've got the variability and the flexibility. I've got this big plot of land right next to it, completely open. Got a large, pig area right here. Again, we have more silage bunkers right past that pig area. Got a large cow pasture. Coming over here, we have our animal dealer. Again, we have another this was the player farm we looked at just a little bit ago. We've got the silage bunkers. We can do whatever we want there. Remember, any house we can get rid of once we own the land. So we're coming over here to a rather large industrial area. This is where we have the train coming through. And as such, there is a train transfer station here because we do have train sell points on the map. We are able to sell off the map with the train. There you have another cow area. And bunker. The other side of the railroad tracks. It's just everywhere you look, you have potential playable farms. Well, here I believe we have two horse pins. We're going to be taking a closer look at all of these animal areas with the drive through Continuing on the southern part of the map, moving to the west. If we look across the northern area, you can see that overall the map is mostly flat. So it should be fairly easy to farm. 
We have another cow pasture below. This map is going to be, as I said, kind of a farm builder's delight. You could just, just buy this area right here. Sell a house, build out a farm. Buy this area over here. Sell a house, build out a different farm. Go up the next block. Sell a house, build out even a different farm. Just have fun just building out tons of different farms on this map. Well, you could play this map for 50 hours and never actually do any farming. Just build. Make it your own little world. That's the power of Farm Sim, and that's the power that this map also brings to Farm Sim. Now, with respect to our scoring, is there production built into the map? Yes, there are four production areas built into the map. There's a dairy, a BGA, a sawmill, and a carpentry shop built into the map. We are going to give the map a full point with respect to that. Down here we have Costco, and man, take a look. They really hit it out of the park with the parking lot here. We got Costco around the side. We have our sell point for that. We have our bowling alley. We got our parking lot up front. Here we have our dairy. It's our cheese shop, but we've got the dairy right here. Our gas station. That some of these buildable areas are kind of separated out by uh, by fences, right? Kind of already set up as industrial areas. So you can really buy these and further put down more production. That's a really interesting design element there. We are going to give the map a full point. Also, with respect to can the farms be customized, as we said, we're giving the map a full point with respect to the ability to sell all of our base game crops, production items, and animal outputs. This map is using all FS standard FS22 buildings, so we are going to give the map a full point there as well with respect to buildings using new texturing techniques. Of course they are. They're all FS22 buildings. You can come through here, expand these fields however you want all's well. There's not a whole lot separating a lot of these fields apart. We do have tree lines here and there. Of course, if you wanted to, you could clear those out and merge even more fields together. Got another pig pasture over here. Several silage bunkers going on. Made our way over to the biogas plant. Here we have with what what is I think a sheep area. Here we have the built-in BGA. But like I said, there's so many areas on this map that you could possibly make out your own biogas plant. Then we have areas over here, like this big gravel or concrete area over here. It's just begging, just begging for you to put something down. Right? I mean, imagine a map where you had like seven biogas plants. You could do that. You could possibly do that on this map. The only limit to what you can do on this map is going to be your imagination. Or lack thereof. To be quite honest. Here we have our sawmill and our carpentry facility. Another fuel point. Down below. And let's make our way over to our vehicle shop. Where we're going to jump in our Mahindra and, uh, and drive around and check everything out from below. Now, 
Uh, with respect to the fallen area for your vehicles and machinery, you have a fairly large area for vehicles and machinery to spawn in at. We also have a fairly large opening here for you to get your machinery out of. But then overall, right, there's a decent, decent width here of the road and things off of the road. So driving with large machinery should not be a problem. We have our vehicle customized cell repair trade and repaint trigger located right here at the dealer. Oh, wonderfully marked. Now let's head on out of here. So that's another entrance into our shop. I'm trying to get to a point, an area that's right behind the shop. I might have to find another road to get into the area. So here we have our co-op. So this is going to be a buy all silo. Let's see what we can buy here. We can buy wheat. Barley, oat, canola, sorghum, sunflower, soybeans, corn, potatoes, sugar beet, sugar cane. All of your grains are going to be able to be bought here. And all of your grains are going to be able to be sold here as well. Are you going to be able to buy them and then sell them for a profit? I don't know. I'm not going to look at that. That's not my concern. My concern is if you have pigs, you're going to be able to come here, buy your food materials if you need them, as opposed to just buying pig food all the time. If you need oats for horses, you can come here and buy your oats for your horses without any bit of a hassle whatsoever. This is what I was trying to get to. Here we have more buy points, so we can buy liquid fertilizer. We can buy herbicide in bulk. We can buy seed in bulk. And we can also then, guess what? Well, we can buy lime and we can buy solid fertilizer here as well. This is my guess is going to be a buy point for fuel. I don't have a trailer that's set up for that, so I can't confirm, but that is what my belief would be. Hey, you can come out here. You can buy this land right here. Sell all that, remember? We can sell everything. Right? Adios. Right next to our buy all stuff. Man, you'll be set. You're set for life. Trying to figure out which direction I want to go in. We need to beat the train. We need to beat the train. It's coming. It's coming from somewhere. Do a little in cab driving so we can get a little first person perspective. The lay of the land. There's the train. And we are making our way down towards our start farm. And here we have one of our large animal areas.
This is going to be a large cow area. 80 cows here. And if you don't like this pen, you want it to be something else, well, you just sell it, right? You might be like, well, this is going to be a perfect area for one of those open range cow pens. It's got, you know, large, large capacities. Well, it's fine. As I said, I think the map author has done a fabulous job with this. Being his first map out of the gate? Are you serious? Maybe he, maybe he made like seven maps and never released them. This is really his eighth map, right? That would make sense. But the first map? Man, imagine what map number three is gonna look like. Two hundred and seventy pigs in this facility. Remember that area with all those silage bunkers? There it is. We have more silage bunkers back there. Our start farm is just on the other side of that tree line. More silage bunkers. There's silage bunkers all over the place. Right. Here we have our animal dealer. Canadian players. I have to say, Chumpy Farmer, I think he's done you right. He's done you a good solid. I've heard Canadian players say before, man, we need some more Canadian maps. Well, here you go. This should hold you for quite a long time. So there we have our animal pin. Over here to the side, we do have our animal dealer bale cell trigger. It's also where we're going to bring our separated manure. made our way to our animal pen that's over by 204. There are several ways you know that this is a 4X map. One of them is how long it takes you to drive at 60 miles an hour across the map because our little indicator down there is she's not moving very fast. We're running at 60 miles an hour, right? We've got another cow area. I like how this one is different siding, so they're not all the same. Another 80 cows. Three sided silage bunker connected to that. And we'll make our way across the street and catch out the two animal areas that are just south of field 198. I am entertaining also the idea of posting a multiplayer server for this map. Right now we are kind of Evaluating this map or somewhere in Thuringia. If 
for a possible multiplayer. But quite frankly, if there's interest in both, I'd be willing to host servers for both without any issue whatsoever. Got our third horse area. Eight horses in that one. Then it's going to be eight horses in this one as well. Because they are a match set. And of course, you're going to have your food inside of here, as well as your straw. Make our way back up to the train station. Then we'll need to double back. Hoping there would be a road up here. Maybe we'll have to improvise. We have our one of our pig pastures located over there. Another large cow pasture over here to our right. Another 80 cows in this building. What do you all think of this map? Let me know down in the comments. Am I overreacting for nothing or am I spot on? Are you all as excited to get this thing downloaded and jump into the gameplay? Remember, we do have that one caveat for whatever reason right now. game is crashing to the desktop on exit the map author is looking into that and hopefully we'll have a solution sometime soon another 270 pigs Look, this is River Rock Estate. That's pretty cool. Let me now do whatever I want with it. Ha ha! Best feature ever. Why, Giants, why? Could we not do that initially in Elm Creek? Came in an update. Hashtag should have been base game, right? I'm gonna make our way over here to uh, left. Is that where I think we have that little bit of industrial park or a pre emerging industrial park right not quite not quite fully built out but you could easily put down more production in those pre-planned plots 
separated by the uh, the concrete walls and the fences. So we have our gas station. And then we have buildable plot number one. Number two. And then we have the the dairy. So we have our interactive icon, we have our pallet spawn point, we have our dump station around the back. So the road ends all over this. The road ends at a circle. Dead end. Neat little detail. Just a little shortcut down a block or two. So here we have more industrial areas. One, two, three. All right, then we have our bowling alley. Well, there's an up station around the back. Or should I say more around the side? Then we have our Costco cell point. Really well done. I really like the parking lot. Oh, we got we got folks walking around the parking lot even. Really good details here. So there we have our dump grate. I think we really need to go north more. There aren't any animal pins. There aren't any buy points to the north up there. Uh, there are plenty of other potential areas that you could build out a farm at, for sure. I think I leave something for you all to uh, reason for you to download this map and explore it on your own. Oh, we've already been here. Okay. We've already been there. Next stop, the point of interest north of BL-58. It's going to be another large pig area with three silage bunkers over there off to the side. Another 270 pigs.
Let's just get ahead of that car. They're not really sure where they want to go. We have another animal area over here. Tucked in behind these trees. These, I believe, are our sheep. Oh, I like that old fence. Got the old fencing done. Done well. 65 sheep. Up next, the biogas plant. Got a nice bank barn set up over there. So here we have our dump point for our slurry. This is just the Elm Creek BGA, so we know what to expect here. We have our pair of digesters, our interactive trigger, our pair of three sided silage bunkers. And around the back, we have then our output pipe for our digestate. Over by field 73, that is going to be, I think, another heap area. Get a little bit of confirmation here in a moment. That's what it's looking like. Sixty five sheep. More silage bunkers just past that tree line I saw. Over here. And these are the ones that are set up with this concrete texture. Or gravel texture just waiting for you to build something out here. Pumps and hoses BGA, modular BGA, base game placeable BGA. I mean, let's just take a look. Let's say we all know how big the base game, the big base game placeable BGA is. And well, that could go there without any issue. Look at that. Plenty of room to spare, even. Pretty cool. Oh no, traffic in Canada. Those Canadians are just crazy. That could also be the American that's not looking where he's driving. Nah, that's not it. That's never the problem. We got another large concrete pad over here. Ready to for a build out. So we have our sawmill. We have our wood chip point. We have our wood cell trigger, our wood cell drop off. We have our plank production pallet there. Then we have our carpentry area. So we have another wood cell pallet drop off point. We have our interactive trigger, then our furniture point right there. We have another fuel station. And then this is going to be our... I believe they're back full circle. 
at our dealer. Yeah. I do need to get over to our train depot. So I want to tr kind of try to figure out how to get to our train depot. Because I feel we've been pretty much everywhere else. We need to take this road. No. When in doubt, run the trains. Run down the train tracks. Alright, there's got to be a road that we haven't gone down to get to these. And then we'll be able to kind of wrap up the video, wrap up the score. So here we have our train transfer, dump and fill point. Oh, let's just drive off the cliff here. This is our rent train trigger. And then we have our transfer silo where we're gonna dump product into the silo to then put into the train. We could also use this to store product. And then we can pull product out of the silo. Right here. So that's the road. That's the road we should have turned into. GD transport. We even drove right past it. Didn't even see the turn in. So there's three things over here to the southwest that we didn't get to. Double to those now. So we have a pig area Is this the third pig area fourth pig area we've seen and then over by field 189 I believe we have a, another sheep area here. For another 65 sheep. Then one final point of interest. shoot through here now with respect to player interactive areas being clearly marked I feel that all of the player interactive areas are indeed clearly marked with floaty blue icons as well as yellow and black 
crosses, cross hatch. So we are going to give the map a full point there as well. So if you have been keeping score, this map is going to receive, it's hard to believe, first map out ever. And we're going to give this guy a 5 out of 5 with respect to our scoring metric. He's hit on all points. He's got production set in there. We've got five areas set aside for additional production, let alone all of those large areas that are concrete or gravel slabs all ready to go for something. We can sell everything we can make, grow, and our animals can produce. We can customize to our heart's content nearly the entire map because just about everything that has a building on it can be sold. We're using all new texturing techniques. We don't have any of the old textures that are coming forward from old maps. And we do indeed have the ability to quickly identify where things are gonna go. So that's how we metric. That's how we measure maps. That's how we grade maps. And that's how this map has achieved a five out of five for his first step out the gate. Way to go, Chumpy Farmer. Again, you can find this map over at Chumpy Farmer's itch.io page, linked down in the description below. Let me know your thoughts and comments on this map, also down in the comment section down below. And until next time, happy farming.